Hello everybody, this is Phil Vischer back again for our next exciting trip into the world's most important book. You mean the Bible, right? Because for a second there I thought you were talking about the phone book. Oh, gather round kids and hear me sing All about Israel's godly king See what good this guy can bring In the books of First and Second Samuel David wasn't ready to be king yet. He was just a kid. But the Israelites got impatient. They wanted a king now. Now. So Samuel went and crowned a king, a feller named Saul. His royal look was just the thing, and man, that guy was tall. The Philistines were a group of people who arrived in Canaan from the sea around 1100 BC. Archaeologists today believe they came from the island of Crete. They were tough, aggressive, and good at making weapons from iron. And Saul became jealous. He was filled with envy and hatred. Yes, King Saul turned to the dark side. Wait, wait, what? Second Samuel, the book that tells of the reign of David, king of Israel. Bathsheba's husband was a man named Uriah, a faithful soldier in David's army. To cover up his sin, David told his general to put Uriah in a place in the battle where he was sure to be killed. We got plenty of room for everyone to sing on the show, from submarines and bales of hay. What about canoes? And boy planes. And from a giant human ear. What? Ew. And the consequence of King Solomon's sin was what happened next. What was it? What happened next? I can't bear to look. What happened next was... Don't miss What's in the Bible number five, coming soon.